Hey guys, today I thought it would be good to do a video on how to go about coloring damaged hair. This is the transformation we did today, so keep watching to see how we did this process. Here's my client's hair before. It's got a ton of breakage, very brassy. So let's get into how we're gonna go about this process. Okay, so uh, my client just got here and we're trying to figure out like a plan for her hair. Um, she has a lot of brassiness and a lot of warmth and but she also has a lot of breakage. And I need to be very cautious because to me, it appears of breakage as if somebody pulls their hair out, but I know that's not the case. Um, she said that, cause it's just kind of focused like more in the back area, but then she said that last time she got her hair done, she's noticed more and more breakage. So it could just be really damaged. Um, her hair is very warm and brassy. There's a lot of like really bad split ends, but she wants to, she doesn't want to have to cut it because she says it grows kind of slow. So then to cut a whole bunch would mean that she'd be stuck with short hair for like six months. So we're just going to snip the ends a little bit. Um, try to stay within like her comfort zone of a haircut because I don't want her to like hate her hair when she leaves or hate the length or whatever. Um, and then I don't want to brighten her up too much with her roots. So we're not going to like foil around her crown or anything. I'm just going to kind of do a, like a root shadow to kind of blend the previous grow out that's there from the highlights. We are going to go through and brighten up around her face with like, you know, the hairline foil that I normally do. And then I told her that I'd rather be really safe and just like do a partial balayage just to see how her hair process is for the first time because I want to be very cautious that it's not going to like you know, break off even more or whatever. Um, we're not really gonna go through the back area because that's where the breakage is. So I need to be, be very cautious in that area. So right now we're just gonna mix our lightener and like double up on the Olaplex. Here's my favorite lightener that I use. It has a bond enforcer mixed in with it. So I feel like this is kind of double protection. So I wanted to show you guys how I mix my lightener again this swells really bad if you have it in foils it it bleeds really really bad and i've heard other stylists have this problem too so what i do is i either spray a little bit of water in there or i'll just do a few drops at the sink like this and it, it honestly makes the biggest difference so that that's how i like to use my lightener Okay, going in around her face, I know her hair is prone to breakage. So I'm just being very, very cautious not to run it through her ends. And I'm just taking a very fine weave, just foiling very cautiously. And I go back and check this multiple times just to make sure that her hair is processing okay. And that if I did, you know, obviously overlap a teeny bit, it's kind of impossible not to, um, to make sure that her hair is processing just fine make sure do i need to pull the foils or anything because with clients like these that previously maybe their stylist that they used to go to use 30 or 40 volume on her hair i don't really know she doesn't know either so i feel like we kind of have to be a little bit extra cautious with these clients to make sure that we don't continue the damage with their hair one thing that I kind of have a hard time with when I'm doing these services, especially with clients that are tra traveling quite a ways to come see me. She's from Seattle, which is like an hour away from me, but with traffic, it can be two hours or more. So I have a really hard time with not giving them exactly what they want. Like her goal is to be really, really blonde and to brighten up for summertime, but I just know right now, realistically, like that can't happen. She needs to grow her hair out a little bit. We need to trim off the ends and make sure that her hair is healthy enough for that service. And I just can't do that for her right now. And that is something that I have a problem with because I personally just feel bad. Like they're coming to me because they love my work and they see the they see that I do a really great job with blondes. So I feel like they kind of have an expectation of like having this amazing blonde, like completely bright when they leave. And I just can't do that all the time on every client. And so 
that's kind of something that I debate about in my head is like, how can I possibly give this client what they want without further damaging their hair or, you know, trying to brighten it up because it is damaged. So anyways, those are just some of the thoughts that go through my head while I'm foiling her hair. One of the things that she did mention to me is that she didn't like how she had a lot of grow out previously on her hair and that she wants to be able to go a little bit longer in between appointments and not have to come in every two months or whatever. So I told her that right now she shouldn't have any grow out. The only place that she might notice it is just right around her, the front of her hairline. Um, I'm gonna tap the roots a little bit just to soften it up, but I just told her that she can go as long as she wants in between appointments because she's not gonna have that grow out there. She just might want to um, come in just to soften it up and like blend right around her face, but I'm doing it pretty soft. I'm not doing super heavy weaves or slices around her face. So hopefully this will allow her hair to grow up pretty softly without feeling like she needs to come in like immediately. Also, in regards to doing a client that has a lot of damage on their hair where you're really cautious to not brighten them up, a money piece brightens up around their face and I feel like that makes them feel better. At least they feel blonde just right around their hairline, which is usually the most important spot anyways. Here I wanted to zoom in so you could see just how thin the ends are. So I'm going through and I mean her weight line is honestly like five inches above like these frayed ends But I want to you know be respectful of how she feels and not just chop off all this hair that she feels like she needs So I'm just gonna go through and honestly just try to take off these tiny little ends that are hanging below all the other hair and It does give it a little bit more of a weight line just trimming off those little you know little frayed pieces but she still has a lot more that does need to be cut off and i think every time she comes in we'll just work on inching away at it and just taking a little bit at a time um i'm going through and doing just some sliding around her hairline just to kind of add a little bit more like facial framing because she does have breakage so i'm hoping that by adding more facial framing that will help blend the breakage to make it look like it's intentional and like it's just layering versus damaged hair with a lot of breakage everywhere. Um, just an FYI, I'm a dumbass and forgot to trim her hair before I started the foiling service. So that's why I'm doing it now because if I'm gonna go through and balayage her hair, I wanna try and get rid of the dead ends. Okay, so we just got done doing the foiling, like just like right around her hairline. And um, I figured that her blonde probably isn't gonna have to process for too long. So um, right now I'm going to mix her root shadow and I'm gonna apply that and then go through and do her balayage through the ends. So let's pick out a color for her roots. And so she has a lot of brassiness in her roots. So I think I'm gonna go with my favorite to like kick brass out, which is the Schwarzkopf. So let me show you what that is. Um, these ones right here are my go-to for sure. You have to be very cautious with this one because this can go very blue if you're not careful. So um, we're gonna mix these and I might add a little bit of this to it just for some warmth so it doesn't um, over process and be too ashy. Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I'm gonna add that 777 because she already has a lot of gold in her hair. So I don't think I'm gonna have to add anything extra. So we're going to do basically like, not equal parts of both the colors, probably a little bit more of the 811. Yeah. 
I'm just applying at her hairline to start because right on her part is where I want to make sure it has the most coverage. Sometimes I feel like shadow roots can just be kind of translucent and you can still see the highlights underneath and that's fine, you know, when you want that to happen, but right now that's not really my goal. I really want to try to cover up and blend her hair so that she doesn't have that grow out look. So that's why I'm going to apply first to her part and then I'm just going to go through and I'm not really bringing it down through um, her her mids or anything. I'm really just going through where her grow out connects to the highlights. So we're just gonna apply this and then let this process for quite a while and I'm, I'm sure that this is gonna cover up really nicely. This is the one color that I go to when I wanna make sure to try and kick out as much brass as possible. If you guys haven't used this line, whatever you use, if you feel like it never covers good enough or if you still have leftover brassiness in the hair, 100% try this line because when I use the Demi, I still feel like there's a lot of warmth in the hair and this 100% gets rid of it. Sorry, when I say when I use the Demi, I was referring to the Paul Mitchell, the Demi. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna start doing my balayage through her hair. I told her that I'd rather start with just doing a partial balayage instead of really going through heavy handed trying to brighten up all of her hair because she has previous damage. I feel like I really need to be cautious on how her hair lifts. You just never know how someone's hair is gonna react to lightener or what is its breaking point if you've never done their hair. So. I just told her I'd rather be safe than sorry. Let's go through, be very cautious on how we lift your hair. We're just gonna do a few balayage pieces, just a partial, and our goal is to see how her hair lifts in this service. Is her hair damaged? Does she need a lot of treatment afterwards? Does it feel like it's okay? That way I have a better idea on how her hair reacts to the lightener. And if we're gonna be able to brighten her up quite a bit. Is her hair going to lift at all? Is it just going to be stuck at that orange area? And that way I'll have a better idea on the following services and what we'll be able to accomplish. All of the steps that we're doing today is everything that we talked about in the consultation. I think it's just such a good idea to be open and honest with your clients. Like, don't overpromise that you can deliver this amazing service when maybe their hair just can't handle it and I think it's okay to just tell them like let's take it slow let's see what your hair can do today and then we can adjust it for our next service and I think they'll respect you more that you're definitely trying to keep the health of their hair like a priority so I told her that we're gonna go through a little bit heavier on the sides with their balayage but in this back area, you can see where it's just so damaged and so broken. That's where I'm wanting to try and stay away from as much as possible. But then again, like, how do you do that when you're trying to lift and brighten up everywhere? 
everywhere else but then you're just gonna have this like brassiness in the back so I'm just gonna go through and do a really really soft weave and I'm gonna go through and paint just a few sections just to try to brighten up just a little bit another thing to keep in mind is that this is the same lightener that I was using when I did her hairline foil so the reason why I'm kind of confident to go in and I feel okay with the service is because at this point this bleach is super weak it doesn't really have any strength left so I know that it's gonna be really slow and gentle on her hair so I feel like I can keep a better eye on it and reapply later if I need to. So this is all that we ended up applying to her hair, which keep in mind and see how much we left out and how cool it is at the very end of the service. It cools down so much considering how much warmth was left out. So we did end up having to reapply a little bit of the lightener just because some of it wasn't lifting. So I did want to brighten it up just a little bit with the extra bowl of bleach. Okay, so I just kind of rinsed my client's bleach out. I didn't rinse out the shadow root. I kind of pulled it through her mids a little bit just to kind of blend it down and hopefully um, cool down as much of the warmth as possible. And now I'm going to mix to tone her blonde, but it still has a lot of yellow and a lot of warmth in her hair anyways from where I didn't lighten. So I'm not gonna try to get it too cool or ashy, just more of like a neutral blonde. I mix these two half and half. Here are the must needed treatments that we do on her hair after the service. She ended up sitting for about 10 minutes with these on. I just wanted to include this because this stuff smells amazing and everybody needs to go get it because literally it smells so delicious. Okay, here's her before again. Those frayed ends are so bad. I wanted to show you guys this because right here is her after. I'm gonna show you before we style it so you can kind of compare the two and see how much healthier it looks. It still has a lot of damage, but you know, we're on a mission to get healthier hair. Awesome, oh, oh I love cute. it. Super cute, thank you so yeah. much. Let's see. So we got it nice and bright around the face. Like your mm -hmm. blonde is actually really able to, mm -hmm. to go pretty light. So mm -hmm. I don't know if, she was just using too strong of a mm -hmm. lightener and then it would just damage your hair, but it actually tones down really well too. Cause I was thinking like, there's no way in hell mm -hmm. I'm going to be able to get rid of that brassiness. And we were able to, which I'm extremely shocked about good. because good. I didn't even like, I mean, there are areas where it's still warm because mm -hmm. I kind of weaved them out, but like even mm -hmm. these areas that were like darker mm -hmm. orange, mm -hmm. like those toned down really good. Awesome. Um, and I'm like, Great. <laughs> I'm glad it did. Woo, woo, how about yeah. that? Yeah, awesome. No, I love it. I love it. And how is the length? Good. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's probably as short as I'd want to go, but yeah. 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 No, it's good. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Super cute. Yeah. Yeah. Nice change for sure. Yeah. And then we'll just keep working on going lighter. Yeah. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you. I love it. That looks like really, I, just, I love how you blended it. I don't know yeah. how you did that. Well, really... so I let it sit on the roots for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And then at the very end, I just, I didn't, I like got rid of the lightener in your hair. 
Um, but I just like ran my fingers through the ends just to like drag it down a little bit more to mm -hmm. kind of blend with the blonde, but also try to eliminate more of the mm -hmm. brassiness. I didn't want there to be like a heavy line where I applied it and then it just, yeah. you know, stopped. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, just. Yeah, like it almost looks like I'm not gonna have grow out. Like, no, just, you shouldn't at all. That's like amazing. Yeah, the only thing is up here where yeah. it's brighter, but I did kind yeah. of tap the root so it's kind of softer in that area. Yeah, yeah. So that's really the only place that you'll probably yeah. notice any grow out. Yeah, no, I love it. Thank you. Yay, 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 thank you. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And you've already seen the after, but here it is in the natural sunlight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, please leave it in the section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.